So your well, body knows more than your brain does. Um, the muscles are, are part of a whole system, of a whole energy system. <clears throat> uh, each muscle is connected with one meridian. That is, that is a wire that carries information um, and is linked to, to other wires, other meridians. So the energy is coming up and down the body through these wires. Um, each meridian is connected with uh, physical functions. They, they actually have the name of, of the organs. So you have the gallbladder meridian, the stomach meridian, the large intestine meridian, the heart meridian. They, they are connected with the, the, the organ function plus psychological functions, emotional functions, um, and each muscle is connected with one meridian. So when you are testing muscles, you are not testing strength, yeah. although you are testing strength, but you are testing uh, energy. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing that I, I usually do during my demonstrations is I ask somebody, okay, hold your arm and, and think in something that you like very much, like going to the river or, or the beach in nature by yourself and they hold strong, mm -hmm. they hold strong, and you can test the, the, the legs and they hold strong. Then you say, okay, now think in something that is stressful for you, that makes you feel angry or ashamed or um, afraid, and the muscle goes mushy and goes weak. They cannot hold, even if they try. Yes. The whole body goes weak. And that explains you why people ask you to sit down first before giving you bad news. Oh, So they know that you may fall down. Uh -huh. And that's the whole thing. Muscles receive negative emotional charge and they go weak. Okay. That's why you feel weak mm -hmm. and you feel tired. Well, people don't say I feel weak. People say I feel exhausted today. I oh, don't know what yeah, happened. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. I slept well yesterday. I was eating okay. I need coffee. I need something sweet. You know, I feel exhausted. So and if you start tracking back, oh boy, what happened this morning? Do you have any problem with your boss, in your family? Are you something that you are worried about? Mm -hmm. And they, oh yes, this is you know this problem with my mother. Da, 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 da. Well, that is what is draining your energy, and your muscles are weak. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> the muscles talk to you. Um, they tell you the the, the 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 energy story while you talk with them. Mm -hmm. So you may. You may tell me uh, your childhood story and while I'm testing. And all of a sudden, and if boom. something goes weak, okay, what happened there? Mm -hmm. And so you unpeel the onion yeah. and get deeper. So that's, that's a way to access the inner healer because actually that is the energy of the inner healer, is what is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not for the inner healer in you, for the vital force in you, there is no past, there is no future. This right it's now. always present energy. So if there is a stress contained in the cells coming from the pregnancy when you were in the womb or in the moment of birth or in the moment of conception, if, if that energy is still alive and well in you, you will show weak when you said moment of birth. Mm -hmm. And if there is something coming from past generations, it's exactly the same. And you can work with that to change that energy. You can work with anything that is in the present because the only possibility for a change is in the present moment. Mm -hmm. The whole universe is unfolding and is changing now at this moment. Boy, it is so hard for us as human beings to stay in that present moment. It's not so hard. It's, it's, it's a leap in the perception. It's just a leap in the perception. <clears throat> it's like... It's like Tuning in the in that frequency is the way you perceive this moment. You can perceive this moment through the dream world, that is your mind telling you who you are, mm -hmm. who you are not, how good or how stupid you are, your history, okay. the image of myself, or I can perceive life for what is. For what this is. moment is real for what is. Now, the where 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 I see people get mixed up with that, they say, well. I need to find a job that gives me more money. And I have to think about it and work on it and stress on it because I can't just assume that it's going to come to me and be in this what is mode. They, they, they get defensive about it because they don't see how that being in the present moment can assist them in making a change. If you really want change, 
pre being present is is the best thing that you can do. Well, I've noticed a big shift in you in the last couple of years, mm -hmm. you know, because you, as you get clearer and clearer and clearer, in my way, as a spiritual presence and letting God do the work, okay. and you just the assistant. Just, just be present to this moment, this moment. See how many things are happening now in this moment, mm -hmm. in you, in your body, in my body, out here. Just go to this town. How many things are happening now? Quite a few. Millions, billions, trillions. Mm -hmm. Expand it. The whole planet. How many things are happening? Mm. Everything is changing. It's bubbling. Mm -hmm. Expand it. Go to the galaxies, the whole universe. Everything is a permanent change. So if you really want change, be present. We get stuck because we get stuck in decisions about ourselves, who I am, who I am not. So that is why we work with the pain body. The pain body is that heavy energy field that tells you who you are. Mm -hmm. And you and work it's to, a lie. Yep. And you work to change it for people. And I imagine when you see them go out of their, your office, they look much lighter. Oh, yes. It's, uh, you know, I have uh, hundreds of testimonials. Mm -hmm. uh, in my website, uh, there is a, a lot of work there, and there is a lot of testimonials. And uh, actually, the group of uh, students now, they are becoming so committed and so uh, they, are, they can see the, the, the change in their lives that now we are organizing a free clinic for people to come and be treated uh, by donation. Oh, how wonderful, Luis. And, and there, how, is an, there is an event. What a gift. Yeah, there is an event that we are planning also to teach uh, pain body release. Uh, by donation to people because you can learn how to do this. And there's the website was up on the screen, mm -hmm. cellularmemory.net, and the name of your company is the yeah. Body Mind Connection Center. Center, excuse me, Body Mind Center here in Nevada City. What an incredible gift for you to give to the community. And the reason yes. you're able to do that is because you are supported. Oh yes, oh yes, I have a lot of help. Mm -hmm. I have very good helpers. Yeah. And they and they come to you because they see the changes that you have made. In yes. Their otherwise, lives. you know, if 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 this wouldn't work, uh, people wouldn't do it. And they, you know, they wouldn't learn it. They wouldn't uh, teach it to others. So this is a technology that is being sent to us. I don't even claim, you know, being mine is not mine at all. I'm just being used, you know, to teach it. Well, wow. well, um, I've experienced it, and I think you're an incredible healer. I think you're a gift to our community, and I thank you for being here on the show and explain to people what you do with the, the cellular memory and the, the pain body. And um, I'm very happy to have had um, Luis Angel Diaz on my show. My name is Susie Daggett. This has been Healing Insights. I want to thank my um, creative person, Mitch Petler, behind the scenes, and also Miles, our new executive director, who's helping us out. Thank you all very much, and I wish each and every one of you the most wonderful healing, and thank you, Louise. Thank you.